Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the backlash Corey Holcomb has been receiving for going at Godfrey. We just did a video yesterday covering that, and I would like to highlight what Corey Holcomb had to say about Godfrey on his 5150 podcast. Godfrey had called in on the Corey Holcomb show to correct some information that Corey Holcomb was putting out about him. So with that being said, let's check out this clip of Corey Holcomb going at Godfrey. And after that, I want to highlight the clip of Godfrey calling into the Corey Holcomb 5150 podcast. And then after that, I want to talk to you guys about the backlash Corey Holcomb has been receiving for going at Godfrey. So let's check it out right here. Let's get into this first clip. Before I highlight the clip, be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That really does help support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel. Let's get right into today's video. Here's a video. Who? Dante, the brother Dante. I'm not talking crazy to y'all. Godfrey or Dante, but in my opinion, you took his side. See, this is how I live. It ain't no, I'm down the middle. You either on my side or you on the other side. And if you walking on the middle, I'm gonna push you on the other side. Godfrey and Dante, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real. I think y'all like Dirty Larry. I think y'all like him. And I'm talking about Backdoria like. Y'all can't be saying he a beast on stage, he must be a beast in the bedroom. I'm just saying, he got to be a beast in bed. Donnell, I didn't know you'd be knocking them niggas down like that. Oh my God. Oh. I'm not saying this to be mean, I'm saying this to let you know. Godfrey, I'm only, talk I'm only talking facts, it's because the streets don't know. And I always had you up under me as a friend of the family, so, but the streets don't know. Godfrey, you stay with a gay Caucasian male, am I right? Because y'all said, they was up there, they said, Corey said, if you did three movies or more, you perform fellatio. That ain't what I said. Mm -hmm. I said, if you did three or more movies, you probably had a dick in your ass. I didn't say for sure. I said, you probably had a dick in your ass. Godfrey, I understand you did over 60 movies. Oh. It ain't no doubt you didn't had intimate time in a weird way. If you done done 60 movies, there's no way you could do 60 movies without washing up at a nigga house. And I know you did, cause you stayed, or still stay, with a gay Caucasian male. People don't know that. Y'all wanna discredit me and act like I'm wrong. You stay with a gay man, or you or you used to, did you decide to move out? You been had your own rent money. The fuck happened? Okay, so that's Corey Holcomb going at Godfrey. He said he has facts that Godfrey is down low because Godfrey lived with a gay white man. Godfrey had called into the 5150 show Correct that information. Let's check it out right here. Here's a video. Hell no, Godfrey calling me. Oh, yay! <laughs> yay! Let's see what the nigga want. I'll be back, bitch. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? Oh, yeah. Hi, Godfrey. Yeah, Darlene said hi. What's up? Yo, man, you, yo, I'm doing, you're doing your podcast, right? I'm doing mine, and they're like, yo, Corey said something. He said something that, he, that you did. I said, what the fuck you talking about? And I, and, and I heard you said that I said that you started. In fact, I was the one that said, I bet you Corey didn't start it because they only cut to that part where they're arguing. I said something must have happened before that. Godfrey. Before that. Godfrey. You know what I'm saying? You What's called up? me, right? Yeah, I called you. Had you already you said, recorded? Had you already recorded your show? Oh, right now? No, no. no we we started before. All we, all we saw was the first part. We saw the first part where they where TMZ. TMZ. We saw the TMZ part. Like, it, it made it look like you. But all I, all and I said I ended up. Wait, hold up. I ended up being right. Remember? You said Godfrey, you were right. I said I bet you any money, Corey. Someone got Corey to do that. It, I said, that doesn't look right. It looks like they're making Corey look like he started it. Godfrey Danchima. Godfrey Danchima. Yes, yes, yes. I've known you over 30 years. you damn right you have. You know Let me ask you a question one more time. Okay. When you called me, had you already taped that show? When I called you, I, when did I call you? A couple days ago, right? Yeah, we I did it last yeah. Tuesday. Yes, yes, yes. And I said, Wait. Darnell is funny to me. Darnell Wait. Darnell is funny to me. To me. That's okay. I, I ain't got nothing against y'all thinking he's funny. But Godfrey, to answer my question. I want to make sure it's clear. When yeah. you called me and talked to me, yeah. had you already recorded that show? Yeah, I, I did. Because how many days ago? I called you, what, four or five days ago? Because we take on Tuesday. Did I call you after Tuesday? Yeah, you called me Wednesday morning or Tuesday night. Wednesday morning, right. And I said, I ended up being right because Dante said, yo, Godfrey, you was right. I said, I told you. Corey didn't just start that shit. I said, and I said it was a bitch ass shit that Donnell is fucking interrupting you on stage. Okay, said, Godfrey. Godfrey. Well, let me ask you a question. Why did you guys have, who was that dude, the, the white dude? The white dude who was who was reading from 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 off camera. Oh, we got our producer Mike. He just reads. Is that your roommate? What? No. Oh, okay. Let me ask you a question, Godfrey. I'm asking you a question. Yes, sir. Do you live with a Caucasian male that's gay? No. no. Oh, did, hold on. Did you used to? <laughs> Never. Why? 
What? Guffrey, it's Corey. I never met. Why, why would I live with a Caucasian man that's gay? That's what you told me. You said your roommate was gay. Are you out your goddamn mind, Corey? Oh, my no. God. I've never done that. Man, I've lived with a woman, a black woman, which everybody knows. What are you talking about? Guffrey. So I'm crazy. You ain't never told me you had a roommate and one day he had some girls over and y'all was fucking. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Listen. What happened with the girls when the girls were over with the with the with the gay guy? When I lived in Harlem, I lived on my own. The story was Modi, my friend who's gay, because he was fucking with women at the time. We had these two girls that wanted to go, you know, they wanted to fuck. So I was like, yo, Modi, check it out. Let's go to my to my house and we can smash these chicks because I live in a brownstone you can be in the living room with her and I'm going to the bedroom and so when they started arguing the girl wouldn't give up give up the you know the shit he started arguing I came out the bedroom I go what y'all arguing about then he goes he goes that's why I suck dick I don't know how you deal with these women but wait Godfrey let me get this right okay let's just say I got the story wrong but I do want to get this right Godfrey yeah. you went with a gay man who felt like fucking some bitches that day to your place and y'all fuck some hoes I just want to get it right Hold on, wait, wait, Godfrey, but you said after he got into it with the bitch, he said, that's why I suck dick. So is that when you found out he was gay at that moment? No, I started laughing because it was like, what the fuck? So he told me on the spot, that's why I suck dick. And I laughed because I was like, yo, what the fuck, Modi? Because we, I, I didn't have a fucking gay roommate. What's wrong with you? Godfrey, that's what, that's what, okay, let's just say I misunderstood it. Let's just say that. Let's say I misunderstood it. But hold on, Godfrey, I'm trying to make sure it's clear. I'm trying to make sure it's clear. So you went to your house with a dude to fuck some bitches and you found out he was gay later on. on the spot. That's right. and this is like, this Even though he said, after he got into it with the bitches, he said, that's why I suck dick. And I said, damn, you're gay? And he's like, yeah, but I can't tell you I'm bisexual. I'm like, god damn, dude. And I laughed because it was some funny shit. Godfrey from Chicago, there is no bisexual, brother. There's only dick in the ass or no dick in the ass. But if I, if I find out on the spot, is it my fault? Is it my fault? Godfrey. Is it, is it my fault? So you yes, it's your fault. If you, if you go on 5150 and say, Godfrey, can you fucking asshole? <laughs> you know, I, I'm talking to you while my show going on. Listen, first of all, I don't even, I don't even read for gay roles. I don't even read for gay roles. Your first role on Soul Plane, your name was Gay Man. It was Gay Man. Oh, it was Gay Man. My fault. Right. And, and Godfrey, stop. What did I say in Soul Plane? What was my line? I didn't say what your line was. I just said, your first role, when you got Soul Plane, you was Gay Man, now, the pilot, I'm right? No, that's what I'm saying. I, Godfrey, these are just facts. Now, you cleared up the roommate shit. You cleared up the roommate shit. Now, now it wasn't a roommate. It's just y'all went over there, and after y'all fucked the bitches, you found out he was gay. Let me just get this clear with you, Godfrey. You went, please, I'm not trying to talk over you, but I have to make sure you hear this. Godfrey, you brought a white man to your house and said you didn't know he was gay. I didn't know he was gay, dude. This is 98, bro. This motherfucker came out like 15 years later. So he didn't come out and say he was gay until like 2013? Because he was kicked out of the synagogue. Puffy fuck chicks. <laughs> Godfrey, Godfrey, okay. Godfrey, I'm wrong. You didn't know he was gay, and you just went with him to smash some bitches. All right. All right. But Godfrey, Godfrey, I want you to know, even if you are gay, I still like you. Oh, my God. You are my friend, Godfrey. I just want you to know, I believe that things have happened in your life that you don't want to talk about. But when, like I said, if you've been in over three or more movies, what I said was you probably had a dick in your head. Right, right. It's natural for people to be like, you did it too. But that's not what's happening here. <laughs> I got, I probably did four movies. I don't chase, I, I don't chase movies because it ain't no money in it for a nigga like me until, until the money get cracking. But I'm not, I'm not, I, that's why I said you probably had a dick in your ass, but I'm coming out with facts, Godfrey. We coming out with facts. Your name was Gaiman in the first movie. Is that a lie? <laughs> TD Jakes fuck hoes too. I'm just giving it to you. I'm speaking facts. I thought about these facts. That's why I didn't. I didn't. No, I can't say you're gay, Godfrey. All I can say is the company you keep. Sometimes you be like, fuck it, let's sleep. Oh, oh. I'm just saying. Godfrey, I ain't mad at you. I'm just saying. Well, y'all didn't. I felt like you took Ashy Larry's side on the show. Yes, y'all did. The, the one brother, what's his name, Dante? The brother Dante said, my credibility is in question. That hurt me a lot. But I don't I don't take it personally where I hate. Huh? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, let, let Dante speak. Go ahead. I didn't know. Corey, 
Yeah. What's up, Dante? This is the first time we talk. <laughs> Oh, I, no, I said on stage, Dante, where everybody heard it, he's mild. Did you see his special? He never said he wasn't. So you're saying that's beast mode? No, I thought the special right. was good. I, the special was good I don't think his special was trash. I don't think it was trash. I think it was mild. You got to fuck with, you got to fuck with opioids to laugh hard at that shit. Oh, my God, oh, my God. I'm just saying, look. No, his special was funny. I did not say his special was not funny. I did not say he wasn't funny that night at the Lab Factory. But Dante, he's a mild comedian. He's not beast mode. I can't, I can't say that, man. I've seen that nigga rip. And I, and I used to do Brooklyn, East New York, Fox, when them all not this. When, 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 when those dudes had, uh, when fucking they, when those dudes was trying to explore Mike Epps. But that was all a long time ago. Yeah, that was a long time ago, right. You know how bitches who looked at that club back then look now? You know, you know what else? You know what else? Let me tell y'all something about Donnell. Nobody on the internet said that he wasn't ugly. That's one thing that wasn't said. Poor guy. Poor guy. Everybody agreed he was ugly. Oh. A lot of people. Look at it. Look at it. Don't go off me. Go off the comments. Go off the comments. I gotta finish the show, and I'm glad y'all called. But I, I, I just want y'all to know, man. I didn't, I didn't say nothing behind y'all back in a way where it's hate. It's just when I saw y'all, I felt like y'all was on Donnell's side, and it hurt because Godfrey had just called me, and I told Godfrey I ain't said nothing about fellatio. That's your opinion. It's all good. <laughs> No, he was he was buying cocaine at them clubs, so that's why y'all kind of feel sorry for him and try to pep him up. Because if he was getting high in the '90s and he's still alive, that's fucking amazing. Okay, Dante, that's y'all opinion. I ain't got nothing against y'all opinion, but it seemed like everybody was mad at me because I said he was mild. Look, check it out. On, on the comedy side, we got comedians that go level one, two, three, four, five. He's a level three. That's a serviceable comedian. He's okay if you can't get the guy you want to get. To you. Well, I'm telling you, I have nothing against that, Dante and Godfrey. If y'all think, because y'all said he was a beast, and that's fucking ridiculous. Just because a nigga could do a whole four rolls of coke, that don't make him a beast. Oh that just means that nigga knows is amazing. What up? You from Chicago? You know what mild is. We eat mild sauce when we don't want hot sauce. We ain't ready for the heat. He's mild. You don't need water to lick your fingers with him. Let me, let me, let me, let me speak. First of all, listen, Donald, uh, Donnell Rollins has done, like, when I would come around Chappelle, uh, Donald would act real like a bitch with me. Like, he'd be on uh, real funny acting with me. So all this shit with the Chappelle shit and all that, I, I agree with you on all of that other shit. Like, sorry, but I said, Donnell's funny to me. Look, and I didn't, I didn't speak on Chappelle. My bad, go ahead. I didn't shit on Chappelle. What I did say no, no, is he be bombing, and I got facts behind that. I didn't say he he, he wasn't a great actor. I agree with 95% of the shit you said. Do you know that? I'm like, yup, yup. But I said you be with niggas. Oh. I said you be with niggas. <laughs> Fuck you, Godfrey. I got to finish my show. Hey, man, thanks, y'all, for calling me, because it ain't no hate. It ain't hate. It's just... Godfrey's a class act. Godfrey, if you ever come out the bag, will you do it on my show? Oh, shit. Please, I'm trying to be like Club Shay Shay. I'm going to wear a tight jogging suit and ask you two and a half hours worth of questions. <laughs> I got more than three movies. All right. Go ahead on, Godfrey. I'm going to holler at you, man. Love. We love you, Godfrey. Oh, man, look, I, I don't want to act, like act, act like I'm like, fuck that nigga. He ain't shit. I don't feel oh, that way. Crazy. But I'm telling you, Godfrey <sighs> has done things with moisture to it. But that's my man. I ain't mad at him. All the people who prefer to get smashed, I ain't got nothing against you. God damn it. Okay, so that's Godfrey calling into the 5150 podcast show to correct the information that Corey Holcomb was putting out about him. And in my opinion, I feel like Corey Holcomb, he kind of went about it the wrong way because he thought Godfrey did his podcast episode on Godfrey comedy reacting to Donnell Rollins and Corey Holcomb beef. He thought Godfrey did that episode after he had called him to get the information about what's going on between him and Donnell Rollins. But as we can see in the audio, Godfrey had said it was before because Godfrey films on Tuesdays and he had called Corey Holcomb on Wednesday. So, yeah, I honestly feel like Corey Holcomb, the way that he had presented his facts 
the information on Godfrey to expose him. He should have called Godfrey and asked him once he watched the Godfrey comedy podcast episode because it seemed like Corey Holcomb had watched the episode and then he just had to go off on Godfrey and his co-host Dante Nero. And that's the reason why I feel like 5150 fans who watched the Godfrey comedy podcast episode and then they was watching Corey Holcomb live. I think he had almost like 15,000 people in the chat. Could have been more because I didn't get to watch the full live stream. I was checking it out live. It was like 15,000 in the chat. So I think the people who had watched Godfrey comedy podcast reacting to the Donna Rollins and Corey Holcomb beef, they felt like, why is Corey Holcomb going at Godfrey? Because Godfrey showed nothing but love to Corey Holcomb. So that's the reason why in my video, I had showed Godfrey talking about Corey Holcomb. And as you can see in that video, Godfrey, he did nothing but show love to Corey Holcomb. He even called out Donnell Rollins and said Donnell Rollins handled that situation wrong by interrupting Corey Holcomb's set as another comic. That's something that another comic shouldn't do to another comic. So Godfrey definitely did give Donnell Rollins a pushback, but he also showed Donnell Rollins some love as well. So I feel like to have a 30-year-old friendship and say that Godfrey is under your family umbrella, to expose that information to Corey Holcomb, exposed based off of Corey Holcomb feeling like Godfrey misquoted him, I honestly don't see why to go off on somebody like that over a misquote. If you feel like somebody misquoted you, just contact them, if, especially if you got their number, and then you can just settle it right then and there. That's just my opinion on that, you know, like 30 years to throw that down the drain, in my opinion, because if I was Godfrey, I wouldn't want to continue with friendship with somebody just based off of a misquote. They go on a podcast episode with 15,000 people watching, hundreds of thousands of views, and you putting out this personal information to expose me and saying that you got actual facts that I'm um, down low. You know, that was just crazy that Corey Holcomb went that route on Godfrey, and I think that's just the reason why he's facing a lot of backlash. And as you can see, these comments right here, this is from a lot of 5150 fans and people who watch Corey Holcomb. A lot of people was giving him some backlash, man. And um, I think Corey Holcomb should apologize on his next episode, Guy Free, or maybe just do it behind the scenes and publicly because that was just crazy. That was crazy if you really think about the details and the context of everything. Corey Holcomb, he didn't have to go off on Guy Free like that because Guy Free didn't do anything to deserve that, in my opinion. Now, Godfrey would have came on there trying to expose Corey Holcomb in some information like Corey Holcomb had did. And I can understand Corey Holcomb trying to get his get back. But like I said, to go on your podcast and do that to a friend, consider, as you said, under your family umbrella, to expose him in that way off of a misquote is just crazy. And that's just my opinion, guys. I would like to hear your opinion as well. So don't forget to hit that like button if you've made this far in the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts about today's video. And how do y'all feel about Corey Holcomb going at Godfrey? Do y'all think Corey Holcomb handled that situation wrong? So that's it for today's video, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe for more self-taught videos. We out, guys. Peace.